Hi, I'm Timothy Mitchell with Mamaki, and I am here in New Jersey, and we are printing, well, as far as I can tell, we are printing Braille. Okay, this is ADA compliant Braille signage, and we're printing Braille signage on this printer right here behind me. I'm also here with David Lynn, who is a Braille expert. David, hi, welcome. Hi. Great. Great to see you, Tim. So I have a couple questions I'm going to ask them really plainly because I yes, want to sir. understand this. There's a whole bunch of mystification in my mind about Braille or ADA compliant. This is Braille signage, correct? Yes. Okay. We printed that on this printer. What printer is this? This is the Mamaki UJF 6042 okay. MK2E. All right. And it was so, printed on this machine. On this particular. There's a printer print right there. It says mm -hmm. restrooms. That's Braille right there. Yes, sir. Okay. So here's what I want to understand. Is this all ADA compliant Braille signage? These signs are ADA compliant Braille. Okay, so what constitutes ADA compliant Braille? To be compliant with ADA Braille, the sign must have certain attributes as it relates to the spacing of Braille, text, uh, the legend, okay. which is the pictogram you might see. Got it and the heights and shapes of the objects that are jutting out of the substrate itself. Okay. So it has to do with height or depth, roundness, Got shape, it. and spacing or kerning. Got it. And with all that said, mm -hmm. this meets those expectations. It meets the expectations and we know that because this is our showroom file the set the settings that we have incorporated into our plugin all the way through our rip software to the print it, it when you mic it out every bit of it is ada compliant okay so we can print ada compliant braille signage till the cows come home oh absolutely okay so next i want to establish that completely. yes sir <laughs> all right so next we need to <laughs> we know it seems that we do need to in fact do that so the next question is this particular printer seems to be a good choice for braille does it do things other than Braille? It certainly does. Um, and really, any substrate that you can fit into the printer uh, on the 6042, it's- Golf balls. Golf balls, ornaments, uh, flat ornaments, round <laughs> ornaments, okay. the inside of a bottle cap uh, going the other way if so, you want to do so Snapple So effectively, facts. all the things we normally do on all of these benchtop flatbeds is also fair game. All the various jigs and systems and golf balls and oddball stuff that right. people do this all the time. This is not only a Braille printer. This is, Braille is in addition to everything else that you can do with okay. this printer. And then obviously you get Mamaki's legendary construction, reliability, service, mm -hmm. all the things that go with a 50-year-old precision Japanese engineering company. Absolutely. These machines are really built to last. The chassis are very tight and robust. There's linear rails, linear bearings uh, that really don't exist out there in the field. Okay. So it's a very well-engineered printer that prints all these different things. In addition, we'll print fully ADA compliant Braille signage. Correct. And then there's different types of dots, for example. Mm -hmm. You have clear dots, you have black dots, you have white dots, it does all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's all in the data that you send over Okay. and the, let's call it profile, that you send the Braille. So if, if you're printing Braille, you're going to use the Braille settings to get the correct height and then the rest of it's in the design. All right, and then we have a software, which is called Rasterlink. Yes, sir. Which accounts for all of this in the software, and then you can use Rasterlink, which comes with the printer, to do all of this type of signage. Absolutely, so it would be a, you know, a scenario where when you have a Braille job, you can toggle to the Braille settings, right. put your substrates in, and get ADA compliant Braille. Uh, the compliance comes from the finished sign. It's not about how the sign is constructed. It's about what it looks like when it's finished. Got it. I think you've answered all my questions. ADA compliant Braille, Mamaki benchtop UV LED printer. I'm excited about it. There's no question about it. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, David.